Hi, I'm Michael Kelly. I'm a senior program officer with the Paso Del Norte Health Foundation in El Paso, Texas. This presentation was first made in Santiago, Chile on March 8, 2011, um, entitled How to Identify a Problem. It's part of the EvitNet project sponsored by the Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization. The, the uh, presentation is related to the U.S.-Mexico border, which you see highlighted in red. There are 16 million people living in this region, and um, the data you're going to see presented in the problem uh, have some relationship to the, uh, to the region. Uh, EvitNet is about creating policy and changing policy for promotion of public health. And there are many steps in the process, including identifying the problem, of course, policy solutions, policy adoption, and you can see policy implementation, and finally, evaluation. This presentation focuses squarely on the problem in identifying the problem. We're looking at obesity trends, and in these following graphs, you're going to see that we're going to be documenting the problem using data, data collected from the behavioral risk factor surveillance system starting in 1985. Um, as you can see here, uh, the dark states represent uh, higher rates of obesity, and as we move through the presentation, you're going to see the trend changing state by state. Pay particular attention uh, to the U.S.-Mexico border region. Now we're in 1995, and you can see it's gotten considerably darker. Now past the year 2000, we're seeing a, a, an elevated rate of obesity. And in fact, had to create new categories because of the rising rates of obesity. So our problem uh, that we're seeing here is obesity, and we're also framing it as lack of physical activity, and of course, nutrition is related to this. So how the problem came to our attention are results from regional studies public and political calls to action, uh, and we're not meeting national objectives. So there are a variety of reasons we're thinking obesity, lack of physical activity, are problems. Um, while obesity is measured and we sh show the data, uh, physical activity and nutrition are leading indicators of this problem, and we want to frame some of this as a problem with physical activity and nutrition uh, so we can work on a solution, uh, which will be our next step, our policy solution. So the size of the problem, currently there's 66 percent of adults who are obese or overweight, and um, we can get data at city and even uh, county, um, uh, state levels. Uh, that show us that about 32% of the children, for example, are not getting enough physical activity three or more days. Um, underlying the problem are some factors like urban design, school policy implementation, and other policies we can look at for solutions. Finally, we want to take a look at the whole problem. Um, the problem isn't just obesity. The, the problem is a whole system which is represented by this graphic. Um, the top of the tree, the fruit and, and, and the leaves, for example, are the observable health problems. Uh, sometimes we say, oh, the problem's obesity, just like we say, oh, that's an apple tree. Um, but really, this, this tree or this problem grows in a whole environment. And it's rooted many times in behavior. Um, in this case, the behavior related to physical activity and nutrition. And that behavior has roots, and these root determinants can be things like our knowledge, our attitudes, our skills, resources, and other factors that are root determinants for our behaviors. And those roots are put in a soil, and the soil is like our social factors, our environmental factors, which can be our family, our schools, um, those places that we grow up and interact with. And finally, we have uncontrollable uh, factors like genetics. Our sun, it's going to rise, it's going to set, we can plan for it, but we really can't control our genetics. So this is the way we really see the, the problem as a whole environment, and um, our policy solutions are affecting those social and environmental factors that really surround our problem tree. Thanks.